Let's look at inverse proportion. So this is where we have two variables where as one increases, the other decreases. So for example, if we had an equation that linked two variables C and D in the following way, where C equal to one over D, then the idea is that if we were to substitute values in for D into this equation, as D gets bigger, C should get smaller. And so if we try some values, let's say D equals to one, D equals to two, and d equals to 3. If we were to substitute these into this equation, we would find that when d equals to 1, c equals to 1 divided by 1, which is 1. When d equals to 2, c equals to 1 over 2. And then when d equals to 3, c equals to 1 over 3. And so we can see that as d is increasing from 1, 2, and then 3, c is decreasing because it's going from 1 then to a half, and then to a third, and so on. So the example says, y is inversely proportional to x squared. Find the constant of proportionality k when x equals 3 and y equals to 4. The first thing is, if y is inversely proportional to x squared, then that can be thought of as y is directly proportional to 1 over x squared, linking back to the idea that as one of these variables increases, the other should decrease. And so writing this proportional relationship, we have that y is proportional to 1 over x squared. Again, we took the reciprocal because we were told that these two variables are inversely proportional. Now, if we convert this to an equation, we have y equals k, which is the constant of proportionality, all over x squared. So what we've done here is we've multiplied 1 over x squared with k. Now since we're given values for x and y, we can substitute these in to work out what k is. And so if we do that, we find that when y equals to 4, we end up with k over 3 squared. Now simplifying this, we get 4 equals k over 9, and then multiplying both sides, we get that k equals to 4 times 9, which is 36. So this is the constant of proportionality. If we wanted to take this a step further and to work out the equation that links y and x squared, we would write this as y equals 36 over x squared. The second example says a is inversely proportional to the cube root of b. Find an equation linking a and b when a equals 1 and b equals 8. So we can think of this as if a is inversely proportional to the cube root of b, then a is directly proportional to the reciprocal of the cube root of b. Writing that proportional relationship, we have a is proportional to 1 over cube root of b. And now if we convert this into an equation, we have that a equals to k over the cube root of b, where k is the constant of proportionality that we've multiplied with 1 over the cube root of b. We're told that a equals 1 and b equals 8, so substituting these values in, we get 1 equals k over the cube root of 8. Now the cube root of 8 is equal to 2, and so we end up with 1 equals to k over 2. And now multiplying both sides, we find that k equals to 1 times 2, which is 2. And so finally, the equation that links a and b together is a equals 2 over the cube root of b. And that is how you can form equations with inverse proportion.